Um, hello, uh, my name is Zhou Yuyan from University of Maryland, and today I present to you Solderless PCB, reusing electronic components in PCB prototyping through detachable 3D printed housings. So conventionally, circuit prototyping usually starts with breadboarding. We quickly swap out uh, circuit components to test functionalities. And at a certain stage, the prototype will move towards a better packaged version, especially when approximating the final prototyping form. Um, we would want to design a PCB in an EDA software and then make PCB assemblies. And this will still go through multiple iterations and eventually will end up with one perfect version that will go into the final product. But that will also leave us a cluster of scrap PCB assemblies that was created in this iterative process. And within those, most electronic components are still functional, but will not be dis 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 disassembled and reused. So we start to wonder if there's any ways to reuse these functional electronic components across the prototyping process. So we decided to interview some experienced PCB prototypers who are also awesome makers, entrepreneurs, or researchers. And they have really consistent opinions on component reusing. And essentially, they tend to reuse and or restock through-hole components after breadboarding way more than what they do for SMD components after PCB prototyping. And this is very much boiled that down to the fact that uh, desoldering and the cleaning steps needed for reusing these SMD components. So in this project, we are proposing a solderless PCB assembly method by using custom 3D printed housings uh, to bolt SMD components to circuit boards and make them easily detachable for reusing. And here's our idea of how to implement this. We essentially use a 3D printed housing to sandwich the components to the board, and the housing will have cavities to fit those components form factor, and some with additional features if necessary, and the assembly is held together by bolts and nuts. So we mainly just design custom housing cavities for each type of components and allocate bolt holes around their footprints. And to make this easily replicatable, we constructed a Fusion 360 electronic component library that we share on GitHub. Um, this contains a small portion of some commonly used component packages with their modified footprint with bolt holes as well as customized um, housing cavity 3 models pre-built in there. So you're basically one Boolean operation away from having a custom housing uh, design that you can 3D print. And I made sure to put a board file and STL file of a solderless NFC business card as an example. And feel free to download them and give it a try. So with this technique, we can basically reuse any components in a previously built solderless PCB assembly. For example, when different projects or different designs are sharing the same components, parts can always be dis disassembled from one and be used in the other. In this example, we started from a solderless timer and repurposed all the components used for a football scoreboard. The process is fairly easy. What you do is you take out the battery and you unbolt the bolts and nuts um, using a th screwdriver and then take out the components from the housing. And then with the same components, you can put them back into a different set of housing designed according to the other PCB design. And then you can put the components in and bolt on the housing to the PCB uh, board. And after that, you, you can basically upload code to the, to the IC, and then you end up with a circuit board that is completely functional for a different application. And another example would be to reuse parts from previous design iterations when you're changing some stuff, but reusing part of your component collection. For example, uh, we made this bristle bot with a single motor, and that turns into a dual motor bot with ambient light sensor that controls its movement. And this is basically using the exact same IC and connectors in the previous version while adding a couple more things to it. And performance-wise, solderless PCB can be used in circuits of different applications, such as higher wattage applications like heaters, or serial data transmission like UART, and some higher frequency applications like driving I2C devices, for example. So in all, we're proposing a solderless method for PCB assembly to promote component reuse during prototyping. And feel free to check it out offline. And thanks for listening.